Because of how popular this app is, are you at all concerned about doing this in an election year? I've actually talked to a lot of young people about it. Many of them don't even know how much of their data is at risk today. Uh, and so this gives them extra layers of protection. When I say, in fact, you know, an American company buying it protects your data that you are putting on TikTok, people actually feel a lot better about that. They don't realize their personal data is at risk. And in this case, uh, is gonna be accessed by the Chinese Communist Party. Now, many people didn't sign up for that, uh, and yet it's the case. This bill protects uh, those families, those young people, uh, and lets them still use the application that they enjoy. So it's a win for families across America, and it's a long time coming. We're gonna have an overwhelming vote passing this bill over the Senate, which gives it a real good chance of moving through the Senate. Uh, and I think it's important to send a strong message that we're standing up to China. Yeah, I've talked to a number of senators. Uh, they are looking, a lot of them are looking towards how strong this vote is. So the fact that it's such an overwhelming vote for Republicans and Democrats bodes well uh, for this version of the bill to be taken up in the Senate quickly. So many of our young people in America are on TikTok and yet their data is at risk. Uh, it's about time Congress step up and protect that data. The application can still move forward under this bill, uh, but the Chinese Communist Party will no longer have the ability to access people's data. And that's an important safeguard for families here in America.